This is what's gonna help you reach your length goals. This is how you're gonna make your dreams come true this year. Hi guys, it's Lana here. Welcome back to Lana Summer Summertime. If you guys don't know the origins of that little song, it's because it used to be my old intro music and then it got copyrighted, so then I had to sing it. I'm saying that because I got a comment the other day where someone was like, I would have subscribed but then they sang that dumb intro song. I just missed my old intro. I don't know what else to do. <laughs> Anyway, in today's video, we are gonna be talking about a hair care routine for hair growth. So there are gonna be some other hair care routines, especially on my channel, about how to get the most defined curls with your wash routine, about how to get the most volumized curls, the juiciest curls, and all of this stuff. And I'm specifically gonna be talking about how to maximize your potential for hair growth with your wash routine. We are going to be going through this video in steps because I want it to be really easy to follow along. I want you guys to really your hair growth goals we want lengths upon lengths upon lengths for my subscribers and my viewers if you're not subscribed yet then do it also i just need to say yes my hair is already long and it's been long for a hot minute so this is the kind of thing that i would do back when i was growing my hair out like from when i went from like this to this and also i do trim my hair fairly regularly so it's important that my hair keeps growing at a steady rate so that i can maintain this length because if i were to keep trimming my hair and it's just not growing then my hair would just gradually get shorter so you know everybody needs to have a good consistent rate of hair growth and this is really really going to help you out so the very first thing that i'm going to do is i'm going to do a scalp treatment slash poo so if you guys didn't know the reason behind a pre poo I never used to know the reason, so I never used to bother doing it. What was reason. the reason? I had a reason. What was the reason? So firstly, if your hair is really dry, when you just dump a ton of water on it, you can actually flood your hair, which can actually do some long lasting damage. So I don't want to do that. So I'm going to ease my hair into this whole moisturizing process by applying a pre-poo. The second reason is because pre-poo products tend to contain a lot of oils or some sort of barrier which is gonna protect your hair, firstly against that flooding, and secondly against the harsh stripping nature of any shampoos that you're using. A third reason why you would want to pre-poo is so that you can detangle your hair before you step into the shower, because I find that the moment I put water on my hair, it like tangles times 10, and I don't want that. I'm gonna use two pre-poo products. The first one is this little guy from The Innate Life. It's a scalp treatment. It's for intense hydration and repair. The basis of it is oil. So that's really gonna save us from the flooding in the shower and from that stripping nature of the shampoo. This smells good, you guys. This smells like you could eat it. And the second product I'm gonna use for my pre-poo today is just a detangling conditioning mist. This one is from Kera Care, and this, I'm just gonna use this to help me detangle. And I'm finger detangling because that's what's best for my hair. It means I can just be really gentle and just pick out tangles here and there that I wanna focus on instead of just like going at it with a brush. And I prefer to do it out here as well because when I finger detangle in the shower, which I still do every now and then, but when I finger detangle in the shower, it kind of ruins my nails and stuff and then when it's detangled i can go in with the scalp treatment because now i can really reach my scalp and reach my roots all of the products that i'm using in this video are curly girl friendly but not all of them are black owned so if you would like to see a full curly hair routine using only black owned products then you can click the eye right there they're really good black owned products and the results came out amazing so yeah click it right there So you can see the difference with that kind of detangling method because this is all the hair fall that I had and I usually have more than that if I detangle in the shower like I usually do. I recommend that you leave this scalp treatment on for a few hours or overnight. So you could have done this the night before or you could do it in the morning if you're planning to jump into the shower in the afternoon. So I'm actually going to leave this on my hair for maybe just another hour. 
So then I jump in the shower to rinse all of that out. I use lukewarm water and I use a sulfate free shampoo most of the time. Sometimes I use a sulfate depending like how much buildup there is on my hair and stuff. Today I'm using Only Curls Curl Cleanser. I love this one. I rinse it out. If you're really focused on hair growth, then you can also use one of these vibrating brushes as well. They help to lift buildup off of your scalp and they vibrate so it stimulates your scalp which increases hair growth so right now it's time to deep condition i don't deep condition with every wash but when i'm doing a full growth routine or a super nourishing routine then of course i will deep condition and the one that i'm using today is the super fruit complex 10 in 1 multi-benefit hair mask from shea moisture i really used to love this i'm starting to feel like maybe this formula isn't as good as it used to be and i'm gonna leave this on for one hour with a plastic cap on so I rinsed my hair out and then I put it into a microfiber towel just to get rid of the super excessive water. I don't want my hair to be absolutely sopping wet when I put my styling products in. I know that some people prefer their hair to be soaking wet, but I prefer my hair to just be like wet, but not like dripping everywhere, like not crazy wet, you know? So the first product that I'm going to put in is a leave-in conditioner. You can use any leave-in conditioner for this. I prefer to use one that's curly girl friendly so it doesn't contain any silicones. And this time I'm using this one from Curls. It's the Blueberry Bliss Reparative Leave-In Conditioner. This smells amazing and it works amazing on my hair as well. Oh, it smells so good! It's good. It's good. It's good. Because we really just want our hair to stay moisturised this whole week until I wash my hair again. You can add a moisturizer like every day if you want to, but I feel like this is really the opportunity to add the most amount of moisture and it's gonna make the biggest difference right now. And obviously the more moisturized your hair is, the less likely it is to break, the healthier it's gonna be, so the longer it can grow. I always forget to section my hair when I put my styling products through. Oops. I actually like to brush my pro oh my gosh, it's got hair on it. She like to brush my products through with a little detangling brush just to make sure they're evenly applied. It does help if you section your hair, but I didn't. My hair feels so soft right now. So then I'm gonna use a curl defining gel. This one's from Flora and Curl. But quickly before I do that, I'm actually gonna use their curl activating lotion as well. This one is not really essential, but it just kind of boosts this one and just helps keep you a more moisturized and more defined look overall. So I'm gonna use a little bit of this, but it's not essential. And then I'm gonna use the Sweet Hibiscus Curl Defining Gel. And then I also really wanna quickly talk about the styling method. I know that the Denman brush method is really popular and I've used that a lot on my channel before. Just like the whole idea of trying to create really defined curls using your brush. I'm not gonna do that in a hair growth wash routine. When I'm creating that much definition, be it with a Denman brush or a different kind of brush, I feel like ultimately that leads me to have more tangles later on. And tangles are not good if you want hair growth. The tangles then lead to breakage and split ends and then being harsh on your hair and weakening your hair. So we wanna avoid tangles as much as we can. So that's why I'm really not going to do that ultra definition kind of um, brush routine when I do this. We can do a little bit. I'm just gonna do some big chunks and it would just kind of involve going like that a little bit. And we could do a little bit of scrunching as well, but that's really all I'm gonna do. Scrunch! <laughs> and then just scrunch out any super excessive moisture once again. Okay, so let's talk about drying. So I know that I used to think that air drying was the best thing that you can do for your hair because you're not gonna use any heat, it's the most natural, but these days I'm leaning more towards thinking that diffusing is actually better for you. And let me just explain. You know, air drying takes a really long time, right? Nobody enjoys it. Nobody wants to be soggy all day. But more than that, your scalp does not enjoy it. And you can actually end up with hydral fatigue if your scalp stays wet for too long. You can end up with fungus growing in there and all sorts of stuff. Oh wow, I am disgusting if you want to grow your hair you need to have a healthy scalp so let's keep our scalp healthy by not allowing it to just sit here in all of this moisture let's 
help it a little bit by doing a little bit of diffusing. I'm gonna use the Dyson, I always do, but you absolutely don't need to. I think pretty much any diffuser can help you with this. If you wanna see my full diffusing routine with all of my tips and tricks, then it's right up here. You guys should click on that because I know, I know that a lot of people have been diffusing wrong, myself included, this whole time. So have a look at that one. That's my new diffusing routine and that's what I'm gonna do right now. I use it on the lowest heat and the lowest speed. I'm literally just gonna do my scalp and the top half of my head and then air dry. All right then, so I think that my hair is pretty much dry right now and that's what it looks like. That's how this routine comes out. So you know, it's like not the most definition and it's not the most volume, but it is the healthiest and it is the best for growth. This is what's going to help you reach your length goals. This is how you're going to make your dreams come true this year. So I'm really sorry about my face and everything. <laughs> that sounds so bad, right? I'm really sorry about my face. I just did not want to do makeup today because I'm having this kind of weird breakout around my chin. I don't really know what's, actually I know what's causing it. I think the mask is causing it because I wear the mask when I go out, like the face covering. And I don't think that I needed to wear makeup because this was a video about hair today, so you know oh and one more thing usually when i finish my wash routine or my curly hair routine i always finish with my edges like laying my edges down giving myself baby hairs but because this is a growth routine i'm not going to do that today because what that involves is like putting a lot of product on your scalp and at your roots which can actually clog your scalp um so even though i've been on the lookout for different edge controls that are not as bad for your scalp I still don't think that anything can replace just not having anything on your scalp. Like just don't, just don't put the edge control on your scalp. And you know, all of that harsh brushing with that little edge brush and stuff like that. Stop it. You know, just leave them natural. That's the best for hair growth. Just leave them natural. Don't touch them, don't pull them, don't slick them down. That is the best thing for hair growth, especially around your edges. And by the way, let me know if this is something you're interested in because I've been thinking of it a lot. I want to make a video about how to have a thick hairline and how to grow your edges back and just make all of this area really thick again because it's something I've been working on. So if you guys would like a whole video dedicated to that, then let me know in the comment section. As for this video, please thumbs it up if you enjoyed it. And if you learned something, please share it to your friends. Also subscribe to my channel and turn on your notifications so you don't miss anything from me. And get me on Instagram for all of the blessings and the breakdowns because I put it all on there. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.